Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and I would like to talk to you about the difference between an open scanner and a closed scanner. This is a really common question I get asked all the time, and also I asked about the image quality. Is the image quality on an open scanner very good? And I'd like to show you some examples and clear up some of the confusion. So here we go, an open scanner versus a closed scanner. So a low field scanner is also called an open MRI scanner, and the low field is because the magnetic field is not as strong. So a magnetic field for a low field scanner is usually about 0.2 to 0.35 Tesla. And then a typical high field scanner has a closed configuration, which means it's like, it looks like a donut like this. And because of this closed tight configuration, it can have a higher magnetic field strength. So the magnetic field strength is usually between one and three Tesla. Most MRI scanners are 1.5 Tesla, and sometimes machines will have three Tesla if you're at a big institution. But 1.5 Tesla is the sweet spot, and that's where the vast majority of scanners are that. In the low-field scanners, most of them are around 0.3 Tesla, sometimes 0.25 or 0.23 Tesla, but typically about 0.3 Tesla is the average low-field MRI uh, magnetic field strength. So a low-field MRI scanner has a plate up top, a plate down at the bottom, and you look at this and you say, wait, look at how wide open this is. There's a way to go out, front, back, side. So as the patient lays in here, they're not likely to be claustrophobic as they would be in a donut like this. And because of this open configuration and the wide separation here, the magnetic field strength is lower. And because it's so much lower, the image quality tends to be a little bit lower. And also the scans take a little bit longer to acquire. So it would be less claustrophobic, but you may have to lay in there a little bit longer. Now on the right here, we have the high field MRI scanner. And this is the old fashioned one with a long, narrow tube. Usually these are about 60 centimeters in diameter. And when you get sucked way into that tube, it can be pretty nerve wracking. And also they're very, very loud. And the combination of being tight in there with uh, no easy way out and the loud scan can be very concerning. Whereas the open MRI scanners are usually a lot quieter and just a lot easier for people who are claustrophobic. Now here are some more modern scanners. One thing that has happened um, in the recent past, not too recent, but uh, over the past 10 years or so, the MRI scanners have gone to something called a wide bore. So instead of being really long and narrow, they're a little bit shorter from front to back, so the tube is not quite as long and intimidating, and also they're wider. So instead of being 60 centimeters in diameter, they'll be to 70 or sometimes even a little bit over 70 centimeters in diameter. So patients who are larger and claustrophobic now, they don't have as much trouble in the closed configuration as they did previously. Again, here's the classic open configuration, a flat plate on top, a flat plate on bottom, and see how wide open everything is there. Now here on the left-hand side is the old-fashioned standard one that we had for years and years and years. About 60 centimeters, here it is, 60 centimeters in diameter and it's pretty long from front to back. And again, whenever you had to get sucked way in here and your head was in here, again, it can be very claustrophobic. A wide bore scanner now is shorter from front to back. Here you can see, this is 150 centimeters, now they're about 120. And also the diameter has jumped from 60 to sometimes even over 70 uh, centimeters. You can see how much more room there is. So this is a wide bore MRI scanner. It's still a closed donut configuration, so it's a closed high field scanner, but it's called a wide short bore scanner. Now in the past, it was very common for patients to get into the, the long tube and have to come out. And now with the new wide bore scanners, especially if we put music on, um, patients do a whole lot better. And so there's a trend away from the close, I'm sorry, the open MRI scanners because these new wide short bores provide really great image quality because they have a high field and people who are claustrophobic typically can go through them. You know, sometimes they cannot, and they will be able to do it on the open MRI scanner, but that's much less common than it was with the old configuration. So hopefully that is helpful to understand the difference, and uh, thank you very much for watching.